I'm touching a cask of spent nuclear fuel, and I'm totally fine. I'm Katie Huff, the Assistant Secretary for Nuclear Energy, and here are three things you need to know about dry cask storage. First, spent nuclear fuel is very compact. A cask like this one, or casks like these, can store about 15 metric tons of fuel that's been used in a reactor. That may seem like a lot, but the volume's actually quite small considering the amount of energy that it's produced. The fuel in this cask alone generated five billion kilowatt hours of clean power. It also helped to avoid more than three million metric tons of carbon emissions. Two, dry cask storage is robust. These containers are designed to last a century or more, and they're made of layers of steel and concrete and other materials that protect and shield from radiation, which is what allows me to stand so close. Three, these casks won't stay here forever. Since the 1950s, the U.S. has generated more than 90,000 metric tons of spent nuclear fuel and it's in 70 sites across the country. But the Department of Energy has the responsibility to manage that spent nuclear fuel, and so we're working on a consent-based process to find one or more locations for a federal interim storage site to reduce the number of locations across the country where it's stored uh, until we can find a final disposal pathway. To learn more about our consent-based siting program, go to our website.